Hi, this is Christian Vance and welcome to this tech tip on recording sequences as MIDI clips. Basically, Ableton has a really great function where you can feed all the MIDI generated information into a spare track channel, uh, which you can put your own instrument on and record it. And it sh records all the different volumes, velocities, uh, note placements, things like that. And the best way to give you an example here is uh, I've got this random sequencer with a little bit of variation, not so much going on, but a lot of different velocity here. And what we can do is, let's just play it for a second. What we can do is arm the track. So we're sending this information, which is very basic, just one note with a whole bunch of random stuff going on, sending it into this bass sound which I'm using the ANA synth here, and we can just arm the channel. It's getting the MIDI from the sequencer, and we can record four bars, eight bars, thousands of bars, whatever you want to do. Now what we've done is, let's just have a look at this quickly. We've recorded just a minimal bit of variation with the notes, just a couple of notes coming through for that bass sound, but all this different information of velocity. And how that comes in handy is, is you can record for a long period of time and go back in and you go, right, I just like this bar here. Now let's duplicate the track mute the original and also we can change that we get no more MIDI input and we can listen to that recorded MIDI sequence and where this comes in really handy too is you can record as many sequences as you want uh, create a lot of variation uh, and stick them all together edit them and you can do it for various instruments just like this and I'm feeding the MIDI in through here as well. We'll arm the track and record. And maybe we'll just duplicate that again. Mute the original. Stop the MIDI coming in and we can listen to our two recorded parts. And maybe we don't want the sequence to alter that much. Maybe we just like a little bit more than a bar or maybe even less than a bar, something like five notes. And we want to re just, just want to do this. And then we might find that it's not so loud in here and you can turn up the volume on one. Maybe you want to erase a note here and here. The possibilities are endless, but basically it's a really good function. You can record your MIDI clips directly onto instruments and that way what you've played or what you've generated even in a random fashion, you can then copy and paste onto different instruments, different sounds. It can apply to percussion, atmospheres, pads, bass, leads, lines, anything. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.